Hey everybody, Lori and I are out on another adventure. We're in Edmondson County today. And uh, you know, a lot of times when we're out here, we take pictures and people always ask me about what I see. And so today I'm just playing around a little bit with some video. So let's uh, see how this goes. So I was told about this church by a friend of mine whose uh, great grandmother is buried here. And um, it's called the Hill, Grove Missionary Baptist Church, and it's near Nolan Lake in Kentucky. And she told me that people here decorate the graves of their loved ones. Well, a lot of people do that, and I thought, you know, how how intricate could it possibly be? And uh, honestly, it did not disappoint. I've never seen anything like this. We almost every weekend travel the back roads and look for unusual places and odd things, but uh, this one. As far as cemeteries go so far and how people decorate it up uh, takes the cake. I'll show you what I mean. So the Hill Grove Missionary Baptist Church established 1905, dedicated 1995. Look at this. Look at how these people decorate these graves. This is absolutely insane. They are... Uh, that's what you're used to, some flowers here or there. But look at this. And these are not all new graves. They're, some of them are you know, very old and their families come out here and they put down this artificial turf. They build the earth up underneath it and have a little mound and they cover it with seashells and these flowers. It's January, these are all artificial flowers. It's you know in the 20s out here today. And, they wouldn't last if they weren't plastic, but my gosh, look at this. And it's not just one or two. The entire cemetery is covered with these things. Um, I did a walkthrough earlier and got a picture of the grave of the friend that told me about this for her great-grandmother, where she's laid to rest, and um, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. They're everywhere. Like we're in Kentucky, y'all. I wonder where they get the seashells for all of these. This is crazy. You know what? These are mussel shells, and there are mussels in Kentucky that that get this size, and that might be where these come from. Um, from Nolan Lake is near here, and uh, possibly, you know, some of the, the creeks that feed it have these mussels in them. That might be where they come from, but this is just crazy. And it goes on and on like this. It's a little windy, so if I'm picking that up, I apologize. There's the back of the cemetery. It's decorated out too. Something I thought was unique about this place is this area. All these little stones here that are, you know, the same, they're numbered. Every now and then I saw one with a, an initials. And there's a couple here with an additional headstone to them. Look at that, 1900, and somebody still comes out and lays flowers, 1904. Their family still respects their ancestors enough to come out here and at least throw some flowers on the grave. But look at all of them. Now typically in a cemetery when you see a small stone like here, a lot of people think they're infants buried here and that's not usually the case it's a foot marker a foot stone so you have the headstone foot stone and a lot of times you'll see just some initials and then when you read the stone it's uh, that person's name that's on that stone these are really hard to read they're very old but uh, that's how that usually works
back when I used to buy land for a living <clears throat> for highways and um, airports and things like that, we moved several cemeteries and I took a few courses on uh, actually uh, from an archeologist at UofL on how cemeteries work. And it's very interesting. Um, but that's one of the things I learned was, you know, there's foot markers and I see a lot of times online where people think those are, like I said earlier, where children are buried, but that's not really the case. So, but I just thought this was really interesting. I wanted to share it. The, uh, all the, these ornately decorated graves, some of them old, some of them new, but all these people are still remembered by their kin folks after all these years. I think that's just really amazing. And I wanted to share that. So until the next interesting stop, I hope you guys are having a great day. Catch you next go around.